it really shouldn't surprise anybody at this point that a network filled with far left activists who defended Antifa violence and BLM riots would also take the side of a violent mob that broke down a lock gate and unlawfully entered a private residence to threaten homeowners. Before we get to the embolism inducing Cuomo interview with the homeowner, please just give me 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from this episode's sponsor, Biotrust Keto Elevate. Have you found yourself grazing at the fridge a lot more than usual these past couple months? If so, you're certainly not alone, and as a result, you could see your weight creeping up too. I'm fairly sure that if you've ever walked into a health food store or flipped on the television, you've no doubt heard of the ketogenic diet, or keto. It's one of the most popular diet trends on the earth right now. My wife's really into it, but me, not so much. I just don't like the foods that you have to eat. With only one net carb per serving, Keto Elevate doesn't add anything to your bottom line carb intake while giving you multiple benefits of higher ketone levels such as increased brain function, clarity and focus, better metabolism, incredible natural energy levels and much more. Be one of the first to reap the rewards that Keto Elevate can bring to your life right now and take advantage of our 51% off and free shipping to the US. That's www.ketowithdronetech.com. How do you feel about becoming the face of political resistance to the Black Lives Matter movement? First of all, that's a completely uh, ridiculous statement. I'm not the face of anything opposing the Black Lives Matter movement. I was a person scared for my life who is protecting my wife, my home, my hearth, my livelihood. I was a victim of a mob that came through the gate. I didn't care what color they were, and I was in imminent fear that they would run me over, kill me, burn my house. And you have to have this in the context of St. Louis, where on June the 2nd of this year, I watched the city burn with nobody showing up to do anything, and I realized at that time we're on our own. That's right. Two lawful gun owners who stood outside their homes with weapons defending their home against a violent invading mob have no right to defend themselves because A, they're white. As we saw from the many Twitter posts and headlines from mainstream media, their skin color was apparently a central aspect of the story. Why? Because you're supposed to hate white people and dismiss their right to defend their home based on exclusively that trait. B, one of them had a scary weapon of war. Lawful or not, owning one of these weapons of mass destruction instantly makes you a violent far-right white supremacist terrorist. C. The violent mob was Black Lives Matter. If you're white, you're not allowed to question or oppose Black Lives Matter. Or else you risk being labeled a white supremacist, a white nationalist, a racist, or any number of other bad labels. The fact is you risk everything by questioning this organization. You heard Cuomo. This guy is apparently the face of the opposition to BLM simply for defending his home against them. And I just want to point out, it was mostly white people at this protest. And that's the irony here, because this guy is a lawyer who brings cases against the police and is a supporter of BLM. Doesn't matter, C answer A. D, all of the above. Obviously, D is the answer here, although there is one legitimate complaint that you might be able to make about these two lawful gun owners defending their home. They pointed the guns. I happen to know somebody who was defending his home against a real threat and pointed his weapon at this threat. Later, the police showed up and confiscated his weapon. He ended up getting the gun back with no problems, but if there is a legitimate criticism of these people, that's it. If you saw my video on this topic Monday, you might remember the bit where I talked about the media's excuse for this mob being that they were on their way to protest the mayor. I suggested this sounded like it was made up after the fact, and lo and behold, I was right. So here we have ABC News. A couple pointed guns at protesters in St. Louis as a group marched toward the mayor's home to demand her resignation. Well, that's all well and good. And, that, and as far as, you know, that might just be an after the fact story. Maybe that is what they went for. But as far as I know, protests require permits. You got to get a permit to have a protest. You can't just burst onto people's property into a private neighborhood and protest. That's illegal. You cannot access the mayor's house from this property. The drive by media strikes again. You were the one and pointing a loaded weapon at a group of people who were walking past looking for the mayor's house. Chris, that's an entirely false concept. No single media outlet has ever mentioned the complete falsity of that statement. The mayor's house cannot be reached through my neighborhood. Three blocks north and a half a mile west 
of my house. So, hey, I have an idea. Let's form up a hundred person mob of Trump supporters and break into Chris Cuomo's private property to protest his nightly propagandizing assault on this country. And don't worry, we'll be completely peaceful. Well, except for the breaking in part, of course. Does anybody think that Chris Cuomo would support us in that protest? Of course not. He and the rest of the media would flail around in outrage, demonizing our peaceful protest as a terroristic threat to journalists. I understand what you say your rationale was. Uh, to be clear, did anything happen to you or your property? Did anything happen? To, yeah, my, my, my uh, life has been ruined. No, I'm no, 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 target, no, no. Uh, we'll get to that, Mr. McCloskey. I don't mean to cut you off. But I'm saying that night, did anything happen to you, your family, or your property? These things get very bad very quickly. And when those people came through the gate, when it was a mob, I didn't take the time to see their, their birth certificates or anything else. I was defending my, my house, my life, my wife, and what I've spent 32 years building there. Oh my God, nothing happened because they were standing outside of their house with weapons, letting it be known very clear what would happen if they did try to do something to the home. Cuomo, being the snake oil huckster he is, fails to mention anything about the fact that we've been witnessing violent riots and looting for the last three weeks, and a lot of it organized by this group. He also completely ignores the violent entry into this private property. This guy was just minding his own business when these people smashed in. Why is he on the witness stand here? Fredo keeps claiming these people were protesting. Protesting who? What does breaking into a gated community to harass and intimidate a bunch of innocent homeowners have anything to do with police violence? It has nothing to do with the police, but being a propagandist in the style of Joseph Goebbels, he knows that repeating a lie over and over essentially makes it true. It's almost as if they realize they're never gonna be able to take our guns, so instead now, they're just gonna stigmatize the use of them to defend your home against clear threats. Unfortunately, it's not enough just to turn off your TV anymore because while you're ignoring them, they're executing insidious plots like this one. As I pointed out yesterday, newsbusters.org is making the sponsors of these shows known and now I'll let you know. Make a list and stop spending your money with these people. That's all for this episode. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel. If you'd like to support it, you can do so on one of these platforms. You can find all those links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.